This demonstration is part of our trial help series. In this video, we will be covering the creation of step definitions. Step definitions are the building blocks to creating a flow definition. Each step definition within the flow accomplishes a specific task. In the end, the flow achieves its final goal due to its internal step definitions. In our example, we will create two steps that will build a single process flow. To create our first step definition, we will follow the following icon sequence. Enter the first step definition name. We will be descriptive so that it can be distinguished from others. We will now assign an operation number. We will let the system manage this and use the auto number generation button. You will also notice that the auto number generator handled the revision as well. While the step definition is in the pending state, you can edit its attributes. Once the step definition is moved to the active state, you cannot edit its attributes unless you move the step definition back to a pending state. The step definition can be used by the system only while it is in an active state. To move the step definition to active, click on the step definition state. You will now see that the step definition status has been updated to indicate it as active. We will leave the step definition in the active state. You will also notice the extra icons available to toggle the step definition state. The step definition state can be toggled in the following order. Pending, active, and archived. Archive state is used to make a step definition inactive within the system. I will now create an additional step definition. I am now entering the step definition name. And once again, I will use the auto number generator, which will also assign a revision. Now I must move the step definition from pending to active. You have now created two simple step definitions. This concludes our step definition demonstration. Please view the next section entitled Creating Flow Definitions. Thank you for viewing.